What's up, guys? So you are tired of paying money for legit cheats, and you stumbled across Orbit. You download it, launch it, and all of a sudden you get this error message. In today's video, I'll show you how to get rid of this error message so you can enjoy using the best free CS2 hack. The first thing you should do is update Windows. If the kernel driver uses the wrong offset because you're using an older version of Windows, you might even get a blue screen. Some people reported that they can't even update Windows. In that case, it's a client-sided issue, so I don't give a fuck. I'm just kidding, guys. But if you have a problematic Windows install, you should re-download Windows from an ISO file, which we will not cover in this video. Now, if that doesn't work, another thing you can try is executing the rejected files yourself. These should pop up automatically, but sometimes people fuck around rejected, and so it doesn't work properly. Just go into App Data, Roaming, Orbit, and execute the two rejected files yourself before restarting your computer. If the issue still persists, the next most obvious thing to do is disabling your antivirus. Going into Windows Defender settings and disabling real-time protection does not work. You must disable it with our best friend, Regedit. Just copy and paste this path from the description and create a 32-bit D word called Disable Anti-Spyware. Set its value to one and restart your computer. Also, make sure to go into the protection history settings and allow drivermapper.exe, since this is another common thing most people overlook, thinking they only need to allow Orbit. If you have a third-party antivirus, however, I suggest you uninstall it completely. There's so many third-party antiviruses and I have no idea how all of them work so it's best if you just get rid of them. The same applies to third-party anti-cheats. Most of them start running their driver on startup, even when the anti-cheat is not open. This driver blocks any other unsigned driver from loading, which is why you receive the failed to start driver error message. And keep in mind that after making these changes to your computer, you must always restart before testing if it works or not. Now, if the driver is still unable to start, first of all, fuck you. Second, you can try the following method to boot into Windows driver test mode. Find out how you can get into your startup settings on your Windows version and click restart. Then click troubleshoot, advanced options, startup settings, and click restart. Then hit F7 on your keyboard, and this will boot you into a Windows which doesn't verify drivers. Thanks for watching this quick tutorial. I hope you can too use the best Cs2 hack after completing the steps in this video. The next time we meet, it's going to be a road to global on a Prime account. But until next time, peace.